Now, a New Year's resolution is a tradition in which a person resolves to continue good practices, change an undesired trait or behavior, accomplish a personal goal, or otherwise improve their behavior at the beginning of a calendar year. The year 2023 is slowly but surely coming to an end, and this is the time of the year that people start working on their New Year's resolutions. To tell us more about the importance of New Year's resolutions is Life Coach Elago Nantana. Very good evening to you, Elago, and thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much, and uh, well, uh, thank you for welcoming me. You are most welcome. So, first of all, why do you believe that it's important that uh, individuals should set New Year's resolutions? Um, uh, first and foremost, I think it's important to understand what a New Year's resolution is and what is a New Year, because what we have is time. Right. Time is the commodity that we all share, whether it's a rich man, whether it's a poor man, what we have is time. And a year is a beginning of your life in a new season, because you have to reboot your life, you have to start over. So what you try to do is to see what you can achieve in a specific year. So uh, uh, um, a New Year's resolution, we can say it's that commitment, self-commitment or goal for the upcoming year that you set up in the beginning of every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the importance that individuals should uh, set New Year's resolutions? So the importance is, is, is uh, to boost your motivation throughout the year because if you put up a goal that in uh, 2024 I want to achieve certain goals, I want to lose weight, I want to gain weight, I want to graduate, I want to like, uh, change my career, something I didn't do last year. Um, in this year, I start off on a new beginning. That yes, this year, let me measure my achievements. Let me measure what I can achieve. Let me see how far I can go in this year to measure what I couldn't fulfill mm. previous year. So in your opinion and in setting up these resolutions, how mm. does the act of uh, setting up these positive uh, resolutions impact a person's motivation for self-improvement? So for self-improvement, one can say that um, yeah, one can reflect on uh, themselves, one can reflect on uh, how far uh, you are in life. Let's say what we have is that uh, God has given us a vision. Now once you get a vision, do you write it down? Once you write it down, do you see it coming to pass? Once you see it coming to pass, the next person that is looking at you, are they able to look at your life, seeing an improvement in it? So the whole um, concept of a, a New Year's resolution is actually to guide you throughout the whole year, guide you to see that how will you use your time wisely? Because your time is a currency that you need to use. You can either lose it or you can benefit from um, uh, your plan that you have put up. Mm. So first of all, let's start at the beginning. Where mm. does one start? And uh, what advice do you have for individuals um, how to set up uh, both realistic and achievable goals? Okay, so it starts with what you want to achieve in a specific year. What it starts with yourself, whether it's personal goals, whether it's a passion that you have, whether it's what you want to achieve in a specific year. So you start uh, usually we start the previous year, like in this month, December, you are already preparing for what you want to achieve based on what you have accomplished this year. So you start with ideas, your patience, you write them down that this year um, I want to graduate. This year I need to register for my university. So you start with writing them down, writing them down, giving exact time timelines, timelines that you know that these are achievable timelines that I can achieve this in this specific time from January to December all this month, what will you be doing with your time? Because your time gives you value, you as an individual. Why, if I have to spend two hours with you, what will I learn from those two hours? Will it be something valuable that I'll gain from you, or will it be a waste of time? So one has to um, invest. Time is like an investment that one has to uh, invest into for your own future. So it starts from um, this year. It starts already now when you prepare for your uh, for your for your for your year so in other words uh, a person has to identify meaningful uh, personal significant goals for the upcoming year and uh, then measure their personal growth and development based on that yes so it starts off let's say um, 2023 
was a year where I challenged myself. I challenged to say it's mental health. And I challenged myself to see if I, if I can walk from Otavi to, to Oshikango, how many lives can I impact? And I realized that in my journey to inspire men, I only touched, let's say, 100 people. But then in 2024, I come up again with a new strategy, a new plan, that how will I impact more lives? How will I touch more life? How will I inspire more men not to give up? So you come up with a new strategy, a new plan, that uh, you know that, yes, this plan for my life, or this plan for my business, or this plan for my family, this is how we'll run with it in this specific time frame that we have. Because it gives you, the whole year actually gives you a restart button. It's a restart, it's a reboot, it's a new uh, beginning for you, where you have to use that time um, uh, as, as valuable as it is, you need to use it for your benefit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, life sometimes brings us unexpected surprises mm -hmm. and changes. How can individuals adapt their resolutions to stay on track when they are faced with unforeseen circumstances? I think one has to be flexible. Flexibility is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is one of the traits that one must have because um, life is full of surprises. It, you will be up, you will be down. It, it, it comes with so many unforeseen circumstances. But when you find yourself in that, be flexible, be able to adjust your plans, be able to readjust, readapt, and uh, walk around them again. Because the plan is just a guide. It's like a guiding tool for you. Once it's guiding you, you look at that plan. Is it flowing? Once you find yourself out of course, you can re arrange your plan again, re-strategize, because you are not fighting against anyone. Remember your tomorrow, you create it today. You start planning your tomorrow today. For us to have a joyful day tomorrow, we plan the day today. Now, the, the year has 12 months, mm -hmm. and obviously it's essential for individuals to regularly reflect on their progress mm -hmm. towards their resolutions. How can that uh, reflection enhance the overall journey? I think one has to assess their journey, assess your life, assess your achievements, assess what is uh, working and what is not working. Put yourself back on track. If uh, you were committed to say that uh, you wanted to lose weight in March and you find yourself you are still not losing weight or you find yourself you didn't start, if, uh, by the end of March it can still be the start of your new journey again. So it all depends with you, the commitment, the decisions you make, because it's the decision that shapes your destiny. So you have to make that decision today for your plan to, to manifest, because the plan is still, like I said, it's your guiding tool into the journey of the year. So throughout the year, whether you find yourself challenges, write it down, mark it down, see what you have achieved, mark down what you didn't achieve, see what was difficult, what was hard for you to achieve, but most importantly, write it down. Now, on a positive note, and mm. uh, using the example that you used of uh, uh, losing weight, for mm. example, a person mm. loses weight, is it important uh, to celebrate uh, small achievements, small milestones along the way, and how does that contribute to sustained motivation, and uh, perhaps uh, how much should a person celebrate such uh, mm. milestones? It's, it's, a, it's a sense of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. uh, because it boosts you up again to, to take up the next challenge that is uh, ahead of you. So, for instance, when I was working still throughout my journey, because that was one of the projects that I took up, throughout the journey, I would try to do 30 kilometers a day. But as long as I achieve my first 10 kilometers, I rejoice. The more I rejoice, it boosts me up to push again for the next 10 kilometers. So every year, even if you come uh, in March or in April and you didn't gain, you have to still appreciate that you are first alive, that you have life, and uh, that, yes, you can still start over again. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole idea for, for, for the, for the um, New Year's resolution is not to condemn you. It's not to put you down. It's not to say that you are a loser if you don't accomplish it. It's just to help you challenge yourself again that yes i can do it i can do it if i don't do it no one will do it for me but this is the life vision that i have for myself so let me see how i can achieve it so it is possible um, and it is a guiding tool and it is an important um, uh, a tool that any person can use um, to guide themselves throughout the year uh, and perhaps uh, is it wise to share my resolutions with others i mean um, it's, it's, it's quite good if you have accountability partners, um, somebody, that, uh, you, somebody that, you, that can challenge you also at the same time, somebody that can keep you 
accountable, saying that, yes, you said you'll run five kilometers every day. Why are you not running? You said you'll achieve this on this specific date. Where is it? You said God said to you that you are going to do this. Where are you? You know, sometimes people say that they want their lives to change, but they don't take that step to, to change. So it is a decision, a way that, yes, in 2024, I want to stop smoking, or I want um, to grow spiritually, or I want um, um, to achieve certain achievements for my family or for, for, for my children and so forth. Now, um, if there's somebody that you communicate with, that person will always hold you to it that, yes, you told me that by this time you are going to achieve it, where is it? And then you try to repack and re, uh, um, go back to your, to your planning board and say, no, I didn't achieve this because I faced these challenges that uh, I faced throughout the year, but um, I'm starting over again. So there's always a restart button every day of, of, uh, throughout the year. Thank you, Elago. Thank mm -hmm. you for speaking to us, and uh, we wish you all the best. And, uh, we thank look you. forward to hear what your resolutions are. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. Well, that is uh, Life Coach Elago Nantana, who has been uh, talking to us about New Year's resolution and the importance thereof. The Daily Roundup will continue just after this short break, so stick around.